Hi and hello everyone. My name is Debra Toranipo and on behalf of my other co-authors, I will be presenting our paper titled Globalization and Human Development Evidence from Lower Middle Income Economies. In defining globalization, Sergi and others in 2004 have provided an integrative definition of globalization in which they conceptualize globalization as having four main dimensions, namely diffusion of goods and services, diffusion of capital, diffusion of technology, and diffusion of people or workers across national borders. Influential aspects of globalization are mostly economic in nature and are typically evident in areas such as investment and international trade. Among the benefits of globalization include increased competitiveness, economies of scale, and learning and innovation. Additionally, uh, cross-border investment and technological investments have led to the improvement in the nation's wealth and economic well-being by creating more employment opportunities and eventually raises the standard living when more people are employed and earn an income. Generally, um, economic growth is typically understood as a measure of economic progress. However, over time, we cannot determine the progress of a country or a nation solely based on their income or GDP level alone. The people, which essentially represents the real wealth of the nation, should be taken into consideration when measuring progress. So that is why an economist, Sen, in 1985, proposed the idea or theory of human development which places a human quality of life at the center of economic analysis and evaluation. According to United Nations Development Program in 1990, the basic objective of development should be creating an enabling environment for people to live long, healthy and creative lives. So this has led to the successive introduction of the Human Development Index or HDI which was introduced to measure and capture three key dimensions of well-being, which are a long and healthy life, access to knowledge, and a decent standard of living. Now, although there is a vast body of literature asserting the positive impact of uh, globalization on human development, there are a few studies that indicated otherwise. For instance, a study by Sabi in 2007 revealed that there is no evidence of a significant relation between globalization and human development except for high-income countries. Another study by Figora in 2014 also stated that globalization may potentially have adverse impacts on human development in developing economies. The author further stated that trade has strong negative impact on human development in developing economies Presumably because trade places developing economies at a great disadvantage as compared to the more advanced and industrialized countries. Moreover, um, little attention has also been given on the impact of globalization on human development, particularly in the case of lower middle income economies. So therefore, this study uh, seeks to provide additional empirical evidence on how globalization impacts human development, especially in the case of uh, lower middle income economies. As mentioned earlier, um, the primary objective of this study is to investigate the relationship between globalization and human development in lower middle income economies. Specifically, uh, this study attempts to examine whether there is significant impact of foreign direct investment trade openness, ICT or information and communication technologies, as well as urbanization on human development in lower middle income economies. As for the literature review of this study, we will look into the empirical evidence of how all the independent variables used in the study influence human development. So for a start, we will look into uh, foreign direct investment, which is FDI. Um, according to Isaac and others in 2011, 
FDI is seen as a major driver of economy, productivity and employment growth, expansion of capital stock, innovation and technology transfer. Uh, other studies such as by Figura in 2014, as well as by Sharma Ingani in 2004, also found that FDI has a positive uh, influence on human development. Now moving on to trade, uh, according to Don Birch and others in 1998, it was found that exports and imports promote economic and social well-being through the increase in job opportunities and disposable personal income. Another study by Easton 2001 also found that trade improved uh, human development through higher government spending on public services due to increased tax revenues. Now, on the other hand, contrasting evidence was also found by studies such as Figura 2014, as well as by Maslan and others in 2019, who found negative effect of trade on human development. Now, moving on to information and communication technologies, or ICT, study by Ah Song Gu and Lee Roth in 2017 found that policies tailored to promote ICT penetration foster sustained and inclusive development. Moreover, other studies such as uh, De La Hose and others 2019, Kegley and Ake and Ven in 2017, as well as by Moody in 2016, similarly indicated relevance of technological progress for socioeconomic benefits. Now, moving on to our last category of uh, independent variable, which is urbanization. Now, urbanization in this study is, um, is introduced as another measurement of uh, globalization in which uh, was hardly explored or examined in previous studies. So this study has uh, decided to introduce this uh, urbanization as another measure of uh, globalization to be tested for its impact on human development. Now, according to Hu and Chen in 2015, urbanization is not an isolated process under globalization. There was also evidence of positive link between the two, which was found in studies by Huang and Jiang in 2017, as well as by Ani Su Jaman in 2015. On the other hand, uh, Malik 2004 found contrasting evidence, which uh, he found that a high level of urbanization does not necessarily generate better human development outcomes. As for the uh, methodology, this study used a panel data set uh, consisting of 33 lower middle income economies covering a time period of 19 years from year 2000 to 2018. Now, before proceeding to the primary regression analysis, several preliminary testing and diagnostic checks were performed first, which include testing for the presence of multicollinearity, heteroscedasticity, and serial correlation using several tests such as uh, variance inflation factor, modified wall tests, and Woolwich tests. Now, the main estimation technique used in this study is uh, panel fixed effect estimator with robust uh, standard errors. The regression model used in this study is as shown in the slide, in which uh, on the left-hand side of the equation is the dependent variable, which is represented by HDI or Human Development Index, and on the right-hand side of the equation are the independent variables measuring uh, globalization. Now, this study uh, follows the definition of globalization as proposed by Sergi and others in 2004, in which, uh, in this case, FDI is used as a proxy for uh, diffusion of capital. Uh, trade openness is used as a proxy for diffusion of goods and services. Uh, mobile cellular and internet users are used are as proxies to measure uh, technological diffusion. And last but not least, uh, urbanization is what was uh, newly introduced into this study as another measure of globalization. Now for the findings, if uh, looking at the first table on the left here, 
based on the results of the two tests under preliminary testing, which is the PPLM test and Hosmer test, the results of these two tests suggest that they are in favor of uh, use of a fixed effect estimator rather than a random effect estimator. And then looking at the results of diagnostic checks, it was found that the regression model suffered from um, the problem of heteroscedasticity as well as serial correlation, in which uh, necessitates the use of a robust standard errors to correct or to overcome these two uh, problems. And then um, moving on to the second table, which is on your right hand side, this uh, reports the findings or shows the findings from the uh, main regression analysis using the fixed effect uh, estimator with robust standard errors. Now, from this table, it can be observed that out of all five um, independent variables measuring globalization, four of the variables have uh, shown significance and positive impact on uh, human development. And out of these four variables, urban population uh, yields the highest coefficient value, which uh, suggests that the higher the, the rate of urbanization, the better is uh, human development in lower middle income economies. Unfortunately, um, trade openness is the only measure of globalization that was found to have a insignificant impact or influence on human development in lower middle income economies. All right, as for the uh, conclusion, the significant and positive impacts of FDI, SCT, and urbanization suggest that greater inflow of investment, technology diffusion, and urban development are beneficial for human development in lower middle income economies. The insignificance of trade as found in this study implies that the impact of trade could be conditional on the level of development and ability of the lower middle income economies to take advantage of international trade. As for the uh, recommendations for the policy makers, there should be uh, policies in place to attract more foreign investment, uh, promote use of technology among individuals, households and uh, economic sectors, as well as to encourage proper management of urban development because um, urban development should be able to expand job and uh, income opportunities while simultaneously provide sufficient access for the people to uh, public services and facilities. As for future research, this study only um, incorporated three out of four dimensions of globalization as proposed by Sergi and others in 2004. So therefore, future studies should also include um, another dimension that was omitted in the study, which is uh, diffusion of workers as investigation into this uh, dimension of globalization can further enrich understanding on how inflow and outflow of workers can influence human uh, development. So um, I think uh, we have come to the end of the presentation. Thank you for uh, your attention and thank you for listening.